Hey, what's up guys? Kevin Yates here and I help recreational athletes and fitness enthusiasts overcome nagging aches, pains, and injuries without medications or surgery. The other day I got a question about uh, from somebody who's dealing with an ACL tear, who's going through feeling some weakness during uh, his leg workouts, who's having trouble with, um, with running and feeling like some pain on the, in the knee after he runs. So um, I wanted to go through some things. If you're dealing with a knee injury or an ACL tear um, especially, what we can do to help strengthen the knee, to keep it strong, to keep it pain-free, and even to help recover um, from an ACL tear. So one of the things that um, we can do, and it's important to understand here that a lot of times in, in physical rehabilitation, physical therapy, the focus is really on the muscles surrounding the knee. So um, they tend to do a lot of like knee extensions, quadriceps stuff. They'll do some basic hamstring strengthening. Um, but a lot of it really isn't, uh, it doesn't carry over very well into kind of real life activities. So think the things that we do, whether we're in the gym, squatting, deadlifting, lunging, the things we do um, around the house, walking up and down stairs, getting in and out of a car, the things we do in sport, running, jumping, sprinting. These are the things that we have to be prepared for real life activities. So we want our training to carry over into real life activities, supporting real life activities. One of the most important things to understand, like with an ACL or any kind of knee injuries, ankle injuries as well, um, things like hamstring pulls, pulling your groin, spraining your ankle, plantar fasciitis, um, hip issues, snapping hip, right, tightness, things like this, a lot of it is caused by some instability of the hip. A lot of times the, the muscles at the hip aren't functioning well, they're inhibited, they're not doing their job, they can't stabilize the hip. And so when the hip is not stable, the hip controls the entire leg. So if the hip isn't stable, the knee's not gonna be stable. The foot and the ankle aren't gonna be stable, and that's what leaves us prone to injuries. So one of the things that we wanna do, especially for like an ACL type injury, is we do wanna focus on strengthening the muscles at the hip and of the, the entire leg. So one of the most important things is single leg type movement patterns. Um, and one of the things we could do, like we can use a lunge. Now, the thing with like a regular lunge is, you know, we want to avoid putting the knee into like fully extended positions because that's where the ACL is supposed to do its job to keep this bone up here from sliding forward on the bottom bone. So the leg doesn't, or the bottom doesn't slide ahead of the top, right? This, this bone doesn't slide out. That's what the ACL is designed to do. When we don't have an ACL that's fully intact, then that starts to get disrupted. So what we want to do is keep the knee away from being fully extended. So we can use a lunge and put like a little kind of a three, two, three inch plate underneath the foot so that when you go into this lunge pattern now, we can work on strengthening the hips, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. But when you come up, you'll see the knee doesn't get fully extended. So we can use this pattern as a strengthening tool to strengthen the muscles of the hip and the leg without putting the knee into full extension and, and really causing further injury and irritation to the ACL, okay? So that's one of the things you can do and give that a go and see how it goes. Again, only move within pain-free ranges so you don't have to come all the way down, you know, knee touching, the back knee touching the floor, work above the pain. So only work as far down as you can while keeping yourself pain free. And as your hip and your legs start to get stronger, you'll notice that you'll be able to go a little bit deeper over time into that lunge. So that's what I got today. Let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, or something you'd like me to help you with in a future video, let me know and I'll do a video on that in the near future. Till then, take care, have an awesome day.